What is up everybody, my name is Boba Talks and welcome back to a brand new Gotham video. Now this isn't necessarily just about season 4, this is Gotham as a whole. And today we're talking about the news that kind of dropped a couple of weeks ago, roughly, actually maybe around 10 days ago or so, I don't know. But this, as you've already gathered from the title, surrounds the news that one of the executive producers of Gotham, again, has come out and said stuff that have pissed a lot of fans off. Because they basically said Jerome is just Jerome and he's not the Joker. And now I just want to give my take on this, I want to explained explain it <laughs> i know a lot of you guys wanted me to discuss this and give my thoughts on this so that's what i'm going to do i'm sorry to all those who are watching this that it's been a few gotham videos in a row i don't know if you know this but i broke my shoulder recently that's why there hasn't been as many there hasn't been daily videos and the, uh, the videos that i have been uploading have just been gotham because that's obviously what i've got the biggest audience for but videos should be going back to normal soon it's just this is an absolute right now and um yeah i just can't do it every day and i struggle to even make one of them since i can only do it with my left hand but ultimately i've got a lot of thoughts about this i want to give my take on it and i'm going to analyze what the executive producer have said uh and then i'm just gonna kind of just show how i'm triggered but also at the same time i get what they say and at the same it's just one kind of big mess and i feel like yeah let's just all have a big conversation about it so i want you guys to really engage in that comment section down below for this one which i'm sure all of you will because it's about god damn Jerome Valeska. Now let's give a little tiny bit of backstory. When Jerome got introduced into Gotham, it was so blatantly obvious that this little guy, this little guy, this kind of kid, even though he's not a kid really, but he was kind of portrayed that way on the show, uh, was meant to be or was hinted to be the uh, coming out as the Joker one day, right? He was meant to be uh, the basically the proto joker even if he has a long ways to go before he's the joker maybe they were going more of the dark knight route where he doesn't necessarily have to go in a chemical vat he can just be unhinged going a bit weird uh kind of like i know he fledger might have been a war vet or something like that it doesn't really matter at the end of the day he fledger's joker wasn't uh, a, a chemical vat joker just like how i saw cameron monaghan's joker he was just basically going to grow up by the time Bruce becomes Batman, you know, he would be maybe fully discovering his identity as the Joker, which we've seen throughout the four, first four seasons of Gotham, technically not season four yet, um, about how he's taken step by step by step by step. So when we heard that absolute BS about when, well, let's just start off when they killed him off. That was stupid. They said they always planned to bring him back, but I don't know about that because they were blatantly going with that storyline. He was meant to be the inspiration for the Joker on there. That's why they always showed the kids laughing or everyone around the country even or maybe just gotham i don't know <laughs> laughing and any of the one of those could have been the joker right or the inspired person to be the joker but then then that released lots of triggered fans including myself even i get what they were going for but the issue is with what they were going for even though i get what they were going for and maybe even some other people did um it, it was stupid only in the terms of they cast a person uh, who was perfect at playing a Joker. Now, I'm not a fanboying out here. Everyone, even if you're not a massive fan of Gotham, if you look at Cameron Monaghan's performances as Jerome Valeska, a.k.a. the proto-Joker, you would have to agree that in this universe of Gotham, what they're trying to do in the TV show, the person they've cast, Cameron Monaghan, his mannerisms, his acting ability, just everything he is completely brought out in that role as Jerome is just perfect for you know john doe joker even if the only thing is there was a few hiccups is like we already know who he is jerome fingerprints criminal record blah 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 but you know maybe they could write that our writers can think of a lot of things but it, it ultimately it was just like why the hell did you kill him off to be an inspiration when you know the joker the guy you cast was already perfect for it to the point where you probably actually couldn't find anyone to top him i mean obviously there is always probably someone else but you know what i mean we've been introduced to someone who's perfect leave it that way but oh no you killed him and in the big brackets it's just like well why would the joker be inspired by another person it's like yes technically he has no concrete background story but making him literally copy so many mannerisms and everything from let's say they did go with the storyline uh, which they might be after this video uh from you know jerome's character in the past you know of this tv show it was like oh i like what that guy was doing the problem with that is jerome valeska literally is the joker so if for someone else to come along to be the actual joker which is what they're basically claiming in their universe he would literally be a copycat literally not original not anything that is just fact because jerome valeska is aka joker everything about him is almost 99 point well i'd say 95 percent joker because obviously he still has development to go through he hasn't got 
uh, the clownness to him or anything like that. There was some hints of that, but you know, you get what I'm saying. So that's the second big problem. Like, first they killed him off. Secondly, that discredits the Joker, if that's what they're saying. Uh, Jerome is just Jerome, and, you know, he was meant to be just an inspiration. Then they brought him back to life. So then there was some hope. So this is the third problem, people. So when they brought him back to life, that was great. Fans, including myself, were like, well, we, I kind of wish they didn't do that in the first place. You know, kill him off. But it, it's cool, you bring him back to life, right? But then we found out from Cameron Monaghan himself that the original ending to season three, three episode story arc to Drome uh, in the carnival, you know, when Bruce was punching his face off, bloody blah, 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 is that somehow or somewhere along the way in that episode, he would have got his head chopped off. Yes, he would have been beheaded, which means he would have definitely not been a Joker. But I think they realized how much that would trigger people. Um, and, you know, just because he a, isn't a Joker, they killed Jerome off again. But really, you know, in their minds, I think they wanted to um, explore his character even more. But now this is the fourth problem, guys. We're on the fourth problem now. Uh, they're saying Jerome is just Jerome. He's not the Joker. Jerome is just Jerome, like a, a guy who's still inspiring the, the Joker. It's, it's driving me insane saying this, like how many times have I said it now? So let's look at their argument. They're saying, okay, well, they, they could argue that, yes, they, they killed him off, but it was meant to be the inspiration. They brought him back, but they didn't want to behead him, even though that was the original plan, because now you could argue with what they've said recently, uh, that, you know, they wanted to explore Jerome's character even more. Even though he's not the Joker, Jerome's an awesome new original character who inspires the Joker one day, so they didn't decide to behead him they just wanted to explore his character more uh, throughout but I, I i'm calling bs on that i don't know if they've got a thumbs down from people up above i don't know if they're being true for this is just their pr just basically saying you know even from the executive producers themselves saying look we can't you know they might have been told we can't do this but they're gonna put it across like oh jerome's just jerome you know he's meant to be the inspiration for the joker one day and blah blah blah, blah. you get this you get that but really they've probably been told that they can't do the joker and they've just thought oh out of respect to that Joker character, you know, we can't do that on our show, Jerome just has to be, uh, just don't. But anyway, this is kind of a long video, as you could probably gather, that was the background news, so let's actually go on to what they've said recently, and this, up until recently, uh, with what happened with Jerome in season 3, that every single possibility could still hint at him being the Joker, and it's so obvious, but this is what they keep doing to us, this is what... Gotham keeps doing to us, the executive producers, they just, they dangle it in front of our, you know, faces and then they snatch it away, but I don't know if it's necessarily their fault, they're saying that they, they just don't want to disrespect the Joker character or whatever by, you know, trying to pull off something like that, well, in, in my opinion, you shouldn't have cast such a person like Karen Monaghan, who is, and, you know, giving him such story arcs, basically the Joker on your TV show, it would have been better and everyone would have just accepted it if you were just like, Okay, Cameron Monaghan's Jerome is blatantly the Joker. We're not going to call him that yet. Maybe like 10 years from now. Uh, but obviously, I hope you guys understand. But yeah, don't worry. He's the Joker. But no, they're not even doing that. They're not even doing that. We would all understand that. Am I right? But no, they've, they've dangled the carrot in front of our face by keeping him alive, putting him back in Arkham. And now they're saying this. And I'll link this article in the description. But initially, it says, you know, a Gotham co-executive producer, Brian Wine, Winebrand, I don't know how to say that name, revealed that while Jerome has set the groundwork for someone to eventually become the Joker, the fan favorite character is merely just a tribute. But that that's you know, technically the person writing the article, but he's taking it very obviously from what Brian, the executive producer, has said. And now I'm going to read that out now and respond to it uh, paragraph by paragraph, I guess. Obviously, Jerome is our homage. He's obviously not the Joker himself. Although we, and I'm thinking this is meant to say, he clearly seems to be the impetus that eventually creates the Joker. The more that we see him, the more he carves out his own path, I'd say. I wouldn't say he becomes more the Joker, but the Jerome character continues to evolve. And I just feel like this is such damage control because they haven't known what they're truly doing with that character. And they're just like, oh no, he's Jerome is Jerome. So we don't want to call him the Joker, even though uh, you get exactly where I'm going with this. At the same time, don't get me wrong. I get where they're going. Maybe it could have been their plan all along, but it's just silly. I don't think it's a good plan. Everyone would have been way over the moon if they just actually made him a Joker. They're worried about disrespecting that character. No, you've like the fact you got someone like Cameron Monaghan to portray such a brilliant uh, version of a young Joker who who is, as we've seen, develop over the past three years into more and more this character that we know and love 
that is not disrespect if anything you're doing the character a service by giving him a cool origin like you've done in Gotham. This is a show about origin. Last year we paid homage to one of our favourite Batman stories, The Killing Joke. I think there's definitely stuff within the canon that we as a room are more willing to be nimble with and more willing to go a different direction than the canon. For instance, the Penguin Enigma love story. When it comes to Joker, he's so iconic to that Batman character that it feels like we don't want to get to the Joker ever. Jerome feels like he is that origin of that. I don't know, that didn't really make sense at the end, but I get what they're saying. So they're basically, I get what Brian's trying to say. He's trying to say that, you know, whilst in canon, they're trying to do some things that aren't necessarily canon, like the Penguin, Penguin Enigma love story that hasn't been explored before, I'm pretty sure. Um, but, you know, when it's the Joker and what they've done with Jerome on a TV show, they're saying even though they're doing something different, they can't, they can't actually do, um, you know, that, well, or he's saying they can basically do someone like the Joker, like Jerome, a new original character. Um, and even though, and somehow he's tied into Joker's origin, aka what they're trying to do here is basically blame it on how he inspires Mr. J one day to be Mr. J. Um, but no, everyone, everyone's first instinct to that. My response to this is like, no, just, just let Cameron be the Joker. Like, it's so silly. What they're trying to do is maybe if this is not like damage control and, you know, maybe DC's telling them they, you know, if they're not, if DC's not telling them that they can't have the Joker and this is actually true, that they think they're doing something cool here by having Jerome is just Jerome, then no, don't. If DC is telling you that you can't have the Joker, then fair enough, we'll we'll blame DC. And it's cool what maybe I this is why I'm trying to put myself on both sides of the shoes here. Because if they're being forced to make Jerome not the Joker and just Jerome, then I get that. But maybe they could have done I wrote I would have rather them not actually make Jerome a character, but just still tease it to the very end, tease it, but not actually say it. Just like characters in other TV shows, they can't necessarily say that, that person's name. Like, I don't know, in Supergirl, they couldn't have Superman. They they barely showed him or something like that, and then they gave it to him. They could have just done that with Jerome with the first three seasons, how they didn't definitively say that uh, Jerome was the Joker. And then, um, you know, now they have basically saying Jerome is just Jerome. They should have just not announced this, even if this is the case, because you would have pissed a lot, lot less people off. Trust me on that. Now, last paragraph, I think we all tried to honor that as we moved forward with this character. While we know in the hearts of our fans, he represents the Joker. I don't know how this, or if this is the person who wrote this article, but the, the, the language, the grammar is just weird. The Joker, in our hearts, he is his own character. We really try to think about that and stay true to that. Obviously, Cameron Monaghan, he's just embodied the character in such an incredible way. I think that's what makes him so exciting is that he's not the Joker, he is Jerome. Now, this is what I mean. None of us can truly know because we don't work there. We're not a fly on the wall. What he's done, what Cameron's done, the reason why he's so like the Joker is because Cameron's just done it in a spectacular way. And to be honest, what makes it more exciting is that, he's, you know, he's not the Joker, he's someone else. No. No, I'll tell you what, Gotham Brian, executive producer bloke, that doesn't make it exciting because I'll tell you what it does do. You've made a character basically identical to the Joker or a younger version of the Joker, and you're saying what makes what makes it more exciting is that he's somebody else. No, that just makes it stupid because you've made a copycat of a character. Well, technically, Jerome's the original, so you've made the Joker a copycat, and yet you're saying the original isn't the Joker. Like, Face palm, literally face palm. This, what you're trying to do here, I don't think you're going to convince too many people. You're going to piss off so many people, and it's just, it's just stupid. I'm, I'm telling you right now, Gotham, like or DC, if any of you guys watch this, it's not right. And I'm trying to put myself in both positions here. Maybe you've been forced into this position where you can't, like, you know, you call like the character Jerome the Joker, then if you got that heads up, then maybe sh maybe you should have just played it out like I said, uh, like what you did for the first three years, you heavily hinted that this guy could become the Joker, but you're never going to say it, I would have been happy with that, for as long as Gotham airs, maybe even to up to season six or seven, who knows how many seasons it's going to get, maybe it might get cancelled this season, but I would have preferred to never know than to know that Jerome is just Jerome, and the Joker is the Joker, he's out there somewhere, but he's literally got everything that Jerome had, he's basically a copycat. And if anything, you're saying that um, what you've done uh, is is you, you can't disrespect the character of the joke or whatever you were saying. Like, no, if anything, 
you've disrespected the character of the Joker through what you've done through Jerome by making the Joker a copycat. Like, guys, seriously. Like, how? I don't understand how, when you sat down in this room, you're coming up with all of this. As I said, unless this is just a mending thing because you can't call Jerome the Joker and it's come out all wrong like this, then I can't understand how you think this is a good idea. Just no. And then the way the guy, Charlie, whoever writes the article, says he's not the Joker, he's Jerome, and that's something worth celebrating. Now, the thing is, I would agree with you. Jerome is a great character, and it was a great... It, it's, it, the thing about Jerome that's great is because he was developing into the Joker. He's, he's miles away from the Joker, even though he has so many mannerisms, but, you know, all kinds of things could have happened that the writers could have created. He would have somehow, I don't know, lost his memories. He could have actually done the chemical vat. They did the face thing that makes, you know, him have a bit of an extended smile. The thing is, that's all great. That's all amazing. But what you've done isn't worth celebrating because what the character you've made is so similar. Like, if you put the fingerprints matching up, like, if this makes any sense to anyone watching this right now, they would be 99.98% match between the Joker and Jerome. Like, this is why it's not worth celebrating, in my opinion, with what you're trying to say, that Jerome is just Jerome, because you haven't made an original character here. You've made a Joker who blatantly was going to be the Joker on the show, but something's happened that you, you're not talking about, so you're taking it back, and you're saying, oh, this is really cool because he's like his own character, but he isn't. What would be cool is if you came up with such an amazing character, like, let's say the Joker never existed. Let me put it this way. And then Jerome comes along, and then we're all mind blown. That's something worth celebrating because Jerome would be Jerome. Yes, he might not even be called the Joker, but that who cares? Because basically, Jerome is the Joker. Like, he just wouldn't be called the Joker because it'd be the first time making the character. I'm making no sense right now. But what you've done, Gotham, is not necessarily made something worth uh, what, as you call it, Brian, executive producer, more exciting that he's not the Joker, he's Jerome. No. That's not exciting. You, if anything, you've screwed up, like, big time. Now, to any haters, if you've made it this far in a video, who's going crazy at me for, like, ranting like this, and um, by saying, yeah, but Jerome is just Jerome. Like, it's cool. Like, I get what they're doing. Jerome is not a Joker. The Joker's out there one, on one day, and he's still out there right now. But Jerome is a separate character. What they're doing with him, he's going to be different. Than no, the thing is, I would agree with you guys. You have to understand, I am not a hater myself. I've truly looked at both sides of this, and I've thought to myself... The thing is, I would agree with you, but you've made Jerome Valeska literally the Joker. And now you're saying that Jerome is just Jerome. Like, I rest my case. That That is my problem. And a PS to that is now in this world, you're going to have Jerome Valeska, unless they kill him again for like, what, the second time, I believe. Yeah. Um, you're going to have the Joker walking around one day and then you're going to have like Batman be like, oh, hey, Jerome. And then like, could you imagine those two standing next to each other like, so what I think they might do with this season with Jerome is actually really kind of stray him slightly away from the Joker's mannerisms and stuff like that. Just to sort of shove it in their faces like with what they're trying to say through this is that they're not making Jerome the Joker. They're making Jerome Jerome. So they might just look, keep an eye out for a lookout for more Jerome, like a separate identity than the Joker-like stuff this season. Because I think that's what they're going to do because they've maybe been given the thumbs down, who knows. But ultimately... You know, I've got a feeling this season, like unlike what they've done with all previous seasons, they've been very joke heavy with Jerome because I think they were kind of, you know, they didn't make their minds up because they killed him, blah, 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 blah. But it was ultimately, we didn't know, right, if he was a Joker or not. But now they're saying Jerome is just Jerome. I got a feeling they might try and steer the boat away uh, from the thingy so so many fans don't get triggered. And then they can hopefully rip the band-aid off and be like, oh, yeah, see, we were never doing the Joker. Jerome is his own character. No, Gotham. No. <laughs> No, 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 no. Now the video is nearly done, I promise, but I'm just going over the stuff again. And it's just, I, I see so many flaws in what the executive producers are saying. So it's like, I, I think there's definitely stuff within the canon that we as a room are more willing to be nimble with. For example, you know, like the Enigma Penguin love story. But when it comes to the Joker, he's so iconic to that Batman character that it feels like we don't want to get to the Joker ever. Jerome feels like he's the origin. So it's just like, no. You could have. This could have been your chance. Jerome could have, you know, this is, you know, just like um, Jack Nicholson's Joker or something like that. Yes, there's an origin this time around. You were doing it brilliantly on a TV show. I'll never forget the Blind Fortune Teller episode on season one. That was, that made me feel so addicted to what Gotham had to offer. And in season two, it was really cool until he killed him. But then you brought him back. So we thought maybe you're coming back around. But no, either way, but now you've called it. You said Jerome isn't 
Jerome is just Jerome and not, you know, basically not the Joker. And it's just, you could have literally had a new origin story for the Joker and you've screwed it. You've screwed it by doing this. And I really think this is a disaster. And I know many of you guys are going to agree with me. To the haters, look, I, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you are going to hate on this, but I don't see how you couldn't agree with me. I'm not being stubborn or anything like that. I'm generally trying to think of how Jerome could be his own character. And I would be okay with that if they hadn't already literally, let's say, painted a picture of the Joker and then just be like, oh, no, 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 that, that, that's not the Joker. Cross the line for it. Jerome. Jerome. But the Joker's still going to be out there one day, which makes him a copycat. Like... But anyway, guys, that is all there is to this video. This is kind of like an explanation, as I said, of everything that the executive producer said about Jerome and then my take on it and, and just how I feel like it's incredibly flawed and how much of a huge mistake they've done. And the only way I can see this being fixed, and it's I still feel like this is a fix with some discredit to the Joker, and they're saying, if anything, it you know gives respect to the Joker that they're not doing him or whatever. But it's just like, unless the writers can think of a way before Gotham ends ends, uh, that, you know, makes the Joker one day explain, you know, or they show some scene of how Jerome inspires him and it's done in a not so cringy way or like in a way that isn't disastrous and literal copycat or whatever. And it's just like, oh, we see how Jerome's origin, you know, it technically ties to the origin of the Joker. It's like maybe if you have some amazing writing, you might be able to fix it, sort of. But still, guess what? That makes the Joker not original it makes him a copycat and it, it's just disastrous like you just you should have left Cameron Monaghan as your version of the Joker in Gotham a few years or so before Bruce is actually out on the streets in terms of you know the cowl and the cape like so much simpler so much simpler and everyone would have agreed in saying that what you did if you would have done that that would have been great it's cool like just how like movies have done the joker you could have done the joker your or you know your origin story would have been accepted you've got an amazing casted actor who portrays and embodies that role to a t um but no you've literally taken it all back what but guys if you enjoyed this video and you made it this far please leave a like on there as it really does show your support for the channel and i would love i would love to see your thoughts in the comment section below about this uh this whole disastrous topic uh in the comment section down below um it's gonna be very interesting to see everyone's take on this i really do think that everybody's gonna be thinking the same way um, how many times can I say think? As always, if you're new to this channel, you can subscribe to stay more up to date with everything DC TV related. Well, technically, I'm a bit broken shouldery right now, but you know, I will be doing all the other DC TV shows as soon as possible. Um, but like, apart from that, guys, you can follow me on social media, uh, on Twitter, Facebook. The links will be popping up on the screen around here or in the description below. Um, uh, and apart from that, guys, I, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you so much for your support and waiting for me, you know, with this whole broken shoulder thing. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.